I'm Henry Rutkowski, Seaman First Class aboard the North Carolina, but wound up to be a printer first class. And I was stationed on here from October 41 till November 42. And when they removed the shop, they removed the men with the shop that were printers. We were taken off of Pearl Harbor after the torpedo pit. And one reason was they said it was extra weight. Another thing, we couldn't operate the presses 20 knots or above on account of the vibrations. And we printed everything that was needed on the ship, Tar Heel, letterheads, envelopes, all kinds of forms for different departments. Uh, we even did some commercial work for our captain, which was his name on, on Christmas cards, things like that. We it took me, even after I got transferred, about two and a half years old to get a make third class. So, but the printer that was on here had 16 years in the Navy, first class. And had another one, a countryman like me, had seven years in the Navy, was third class. That's how slow the rates were. Printer's rates were racing. It's not part of the Navy, you know, like, like a gunner's mate or something else like that. And that uh, different materials that's used in setting type, for spacing, printing, whatever have you. This is handset type. And these are things that they have, they have to make them on the beach where they can cut them out out of leather. And they, they lock them up in them chases and they print with them. Roll them roll and everything. That's what we had to use for the tar heel because, uh, <laughs> I've seen that a long time, because we couldn't make them on here. Now these are spacers okay. and different types of forms that you make. And you could use them also in the chases. See, you got a lot of this, so which is very good. Yeah, I haven't seen these in 50 years, maybe more than that. Okay, you know what this is? This is large type. <laughs> if you want a headline, this—that's what this is. It's all made out of lead, and you set that in the stick, type stick. I haven't seen one yet it's around here. Maybe there's one here, maybe there isn't. But you would set it, and whatever it would read, naturally it would be backwards, and when you print it, it would be right. So yeah. Where's the I just, you'd make up a job. Anybody that needed at 6, 8, 10, 14, 18, 18, 20 lines, whichever. Then you put this up against there. A lot of times you might have to hold it and you hold it tight. So when that thing went over, it wouldn't wobble on you. Otherwise, you wouldn't get a clear print. And then you roll that over. You ink it first and then you roll it over on this and you got a hand proof is what they call it there. We would probably take three to four hours to sit on the line type machine. And then once you set on the top machine, you form it into a page and make four pages out of it. And you would print either one, the front page and the back page, or you would print number two, number three. You had to run it through the press twice because you couldn't print on both sides. So, but uh, we used to print, what, 20, about 3,000. It would take several hours to print. So. Yeah. Bring back memories after so many years. Because, you know, in the newspaper business, it's different. You don't do none of this. You just, because I worked in the press room, just printed the paper. 